Hello everyone. I am going to talk about how you are going to make how you can make yogurt rather. Hmm. I just learned this just now. No, I mean, I haven't learned it just now. I learned it 100% um char char. But during our genetics time, it was so ming char. Anyway, in order for you to make yogurt, you need to have materials. You need pasteurized homogenized milk, you need skim powdered milk, you need sugar, and you need a culture bacteria. How can you make a culture bacteria? In order for you to make a culture bacteria, you need to have a skim milk powder placed in distilled water. You need to have a yogurt or yakult. Yeah, you need a yogurt in order for you to make a yogurt. How cool is that? Next, you need to incubate it in a room temperature. No, not really in a room temperature, but you need to incubate it for 4 hours in a 4 deg 43 degrees Celsius to 46 degrees Celsius. Next, you need to have a flavoring, of course. Who wouldn't like that? Well, maybe some people like it to be pure yogurt, plain yogurt, just like that. But I like yogurts that have flavorings. You can um, perhaps mango, you can have strawberries or pineapple or whatever you like. We had espresso, it was not cool. Anyway. Um, what are the bacterias? What I know are, um, or only two. I have Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus. These bacteria or microorganisms have the ability to break down carbohydrates or sugars found in your milk. They undergo fermentation. Oh, fermentation is a process whereby you break down these substances into simpler substances. Okay, in this case, fermentation, in order for you to make a yogurt, the bacteria undergoes fermentation in order for you to make, in order for you to get lactate or lactic acid. In other words, Bacteria has the ability to break down sugars found in your milk to produce byproducts such as lactate or lactic acid. Acid. Boom. Next. Next is, okay, you have these materials already. You have this knowledge. Char char. Next is, you have to do 10 procedures. Okay, 10 procedures. First thing to do is to mix the skim milk powder and the homogenized pasteurized milk. After mixing them both, you need to heat it at 90 degrees Celsius, maybe in your oven or somewhere where you can just heat it. Next is um, cooling it. Cooling it in ice water bath for 50 degrees Celsius. Now you have all of these three. What was the fourth step? Okay, meanwhile, in this fourth step, you need to prepare your fermentation jar. Yeah, prepare a fermentation jar. In this jar, you have to place your flavoring. You can put um, the, f the fruits that I just mentioned earlier, or you just choose one so you won't get a weird taste. You can add tidbits. Slice it, twist it, this, and put it there. So that was the fourth step, and the fifth step is to prepare your culture bacteria. Prepare your culture bacteria. You shake it so that you will prevent the lumps, and then you add it to your milk, the one that we prepared in the first three steps. And then, in the sixth step, you have to transfer that milk to the fermentation jar. So you now have this fermentation jar with those stuff. And then, the most important thing to do is the seventh step, 
where you will incubate it for 4 hours in 40 degrees Celsius to 46 degrees Celsius. Next is the next um you will rather see if you will look into your jar you will um observe maybe the clotting wherein the bacteria is utilizing the milk meaning the bacteria is i mean the milk is undergoing fermentation or the uh, the process there is yeah the fermentation is happening next four hours is already done the next step now is what was the egg uh, you chill it of course you chill it for one to two hours next thing to do is after chilling it you have now your yogurt yeah basically that's it you stir it well the knife you stir it well so that um, the tidbits are evenly distributed and also the texture will be smooth and the tenth part if if you want me to really say it or it's obvious okay I'll obviously state that the tenth procedure is to consume it thank you everybody